Hello and welcome back for another Attention on Sparks video. In this video, we'll be talking about what the future of the Grand Central Fleet could look like in 2030. The company in this video was chosen by you, the viewers, in a vote with the majority saying Grand Central. Grand Central, officially known as Grand Central Railway Company Limited, according to the company's house. Grand Central is an open access operator, which means they run services at their own risk rather than at the risk of the government, which is also means they get all the revenue from the services rather than it being sent to the government. Grand Central operates two services, one from London King's Cross to Bradford on Avon, and the other from London King's Cross to Sunderland, with the Bradford services getting four trains per day and the Sunderland service getting six trains per day. Grand Central also has plans for a five train per day service from London Euston to Blackpool North. The current fleet of Grand Central includes three six coach high speed diesel train sets mainly used in the Sunderland service, a fleet of 14 four and five coach of 180 diesel hydraulic North Patrol unit as a land taste built by Austin in the early 2000s to compete with the Bombardier Voyager family of trains and Grand Central has two five coach class 221 suitor Voyages for the Sunderland services to help deal with the class 180's infamous, infamous unreliability. The high speed diesel trains of Grand Central are approaching the end of their life with their being pushed rightly from the trade unions like ASF and RT to withdraw them from traffic for safety reasons, as well as their age makes their parts hard to come by. So, therefore, I'd recommend that high speed diesel trains be withdrawn as soon as possible by Grand Central and replaced by new units. The high speed diesel trains do not feature European train control system, which will be required for the East Coast Mainline in a few years once the East Coast Mainline Digital has been finished. Also, the high speed diesel trains are so accelerating to line speed so therefore they into valuable tasks on the east coast mainline especially the east coast mainline welling north double track section the high speed diesel trains are great for comfort with well tidied seats and also being quieter and having lower vibrations in the coaches and the 180s and 2 to 1s as they do not contain any engines under the floor but rather in a separate power car known to class 43 under the total operations processing system the Class 180 and with Grand Central are hired in the end of trains and are notoriously unreliable, with the 180s being saved by a from from Grand New, which saw First Great Western, who ordered the 180s, get rid of them as, and replace them as soon as they could, which is one of the reasons for Grand Central to take them to allow them to run the driver services. However, this has led to Grand Central doing more on Twitter slash X with the account of Grand Council because of the unrealized series of the class 180s. The class 180s do have death acceleration rate and the high speed diesel trains and can hit 125 miles per hour on 4 out of the 5 engines as the high speed diesel trains are limited to 110 on a single engine and a maximum of 7 coaches. The seats in the class 180s are decent. Class 1 races do not feature the European train control system, however, they are currently in the process of being retrofitted with the European train control system for the East Coast when a digital program, which will see car light signals removed and replaced with in cab signaling, as well as line speeds upgrade to 140 miles per hour. The Class 221 Super Voyages with Grand Central are higher than the Deep Rail as a temporary place until the Class 180 reliability increase. The Class 221 for Grand Central have had their tilting system isolated because of a lack of defense to tell the trains when to tilt around them. Also, the East Coast Main Line is straighter and flatter than the West Coast Main Line, so the parts of Grand Central uses the class 221s are known for the current due to the fact that their body shell is smaller to allow the tilting and still doing the United Kingdom train with this limited loading load. The class 221s also often are reported to smell when they say they put it on every coach. The class 221s do not have European train control system, however, but this isn't as initial as they are most likely to be withdrawn before the switch over to European train control system from Colorado Signal. So, two, two, class 221s at least, at least have comfortable seats as to all of the trains in the Grand Central. However, they are still very well suited for the services which 
they work. I would recommend ordering a dry mode frames to allow for the replacement of the high CD buttons, 180s, 221s, as well as the running enough units to do the black or north service. I'd recommend the CO25 Fire Coach non tilting 140 mile tower dry mode units of Grand Central. You do not need tilting tech with modern units as seen by Avanti West Coast Orden the non tilting 8300s to replace the tilting 221 suitable riders on the West Coast mainline. The 8300s can keep, almost keep to the 221 timings without using tilting trains to enhance to Mr. Dorsey's by having a greater acceleration rate, which means that on the London Spurman runs, the 8300s will only be 37,000 in the 221s. And on the Two minutes later, between London and Manchester, South Liverpool. We plans to upgrade the line speed for non tilting trains on the West Coast Mainland to 125 mph. I'd go for a unit with a high acceleration rate similar to the 8300 with NER under the brand name Azuma, 8300 with hold rings under the brand name Paragon, and 8300 with Lumo to maximise the number of tasks on the Disney Mainland. I would also recommend plenty of circus space and also a toilet for, for each coach based on these requirements. I think the 802s will fit this as they will match the whole trans tower runs which are also 802s. 802s will allow Grand Central to make this as overhead line of fence between London Kings Cross and North Hampton and the Sunderland Services and London Kings Cross and Leeds on the drive to churches and the full distance on the London Houston to Black and North services. The diesel generators allow the operations between Leeds and Drive and Northampton and Sunderland where lines are currently not electrified or in the Sunderland area electrified with a system not used on the diesel AT three hundred. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to the train sort of conductor. Some of the footage has been kindly provided by Anthony Fernville and the Drop Cross Park Miniature Railway run by Local Class 66 on YouTube.